Hi everybody, and today we're going to be looking at rotating an object. So, I have a simple little scene set up, and all we have in the scene is just one arrow. So, how can we rotate that? Basically, we can just add a step event here, and we can use this function called image angle. This is a very useful built-in variable. And so built-in variables are basically just variables that Game Maker Studio already has set up for you. And this works with basically degrees. So let's see where it goes when we use zero degrees. As you might have guessed, it's not going to move at all. But when we go to 90 degrees, let's see where it goes. It's just going to go up. And we can add 180, and I bet you can guess where it goes. And we can just keep on adding numbers up. And then, of course, we can also use less than 90. We can use basically any number we want. In fact, we can even do 0.111 for even a more exact number. If we want, we can have, we can have the object spin. So I can just add 1 each frame and you'll see it'll, it'll actually spin around. So one important thing to note when you're using image angle is where the origin is, because that's going to determine how the sprite is rotated. Right now, I have it in the exact center. So as the arrow spins around, the it's getting spun from the center. We can actually change this to whatever we want. We can make it middle left, and let's see what that does. So now it's being rotated from here. Basically, this has a lot of uses, such as rotating a character in a game or rotating objects for animations. But yeah, it's just a cool little trick. So thank you for watching.